Well, this might be a good one to do as a quick demonstration. Yeah, so let me do this question. This is um, one of those questions that are not that hard, <laughs> but at the same time, it's a uh, um, matter of knowing the procedure because it's, uh, again, the it's an application of our definitions of velocity and acceleration. And um, in some sense, it's uh, super easy because all you have to do is apply the definitions. And th but there's a sense in which um, it, people might get unnecessarily get confused. So uh, our definitions of velocity and acceleration were given um, position as a function of time. We would say that velocity is defined as time derivative of the position, and acceleration is defined as the time derivative velocity. Now, you might notice one thing I am doing that I wasn't doing before. That one thing is I'm drawing these arrows. And I'm drawing these arrows to indicate that these are vector quantities that we are dealing with. You could decompose them into x, y, and z component. And all these objects, mathematical objects that you see on screen, they obey the rules of algebra. So this is what I mean. Um, it obeys uh, things like a distributive rule. So, so to take an example, um, we say that velocity, the vector, is equal to the time derivative of the position, the vector. And you might ask, oh, I have this. How do you handle that? What do you do with this? Um, well, um, let me just to write it in. So we are taking the derivative of an expression that you might describe as this thing. Uh, for t squared x hat plus 4.5 y hat minus 3.5 uh, t t hat. Um, and we're just going to assume the unit will work out. So I won't bother with the unit for this question. Because whoever wrote the question didn't bother with the unit either. So that's enough. Um, so you might ask. And I guess so uh, one thing I can tell you that might be useful is uh, whenever you apply derivative, derivatives act really similarly as multiplication does. So if this had been like a product, you would have distributed this into each of these terms. And derivative does the same thing. Now, it's not the same as product because order matters. And, but in many ways, derivatives act, uh, it behaves like a pro, a multiplication. So I'm going to distribute the derivative to each of the terms. So this becomes uh, the time derivative of for t squared x hat plus the time derivative of 4.5 y hat minus, let me do it in the next line, minus the time derivative of 3.5, oh, I moved the minus, it's fine, <laughs> t, t hat. And then you take the derivative. Now, one thing that you won't need to worry about in this class, but you might in a future class in a, multivariable calculus or in a differential equations class, there are coordinate systems where you do have to worry about if your unit vectors are time uh, dependent or if they are constant with respect to time. Cartesian coordinate, one of the nicest thing about it is are the unit vectors are constant with respect to time. So when you take the derivatives, you can basically ignore them. Those are constant scale, not scalar. They are constant factors that they don't do anything in the context of derivative. So um, now, again, there are other coordinate systems where your unit vectors are not necessarily constant. Uh, I guess uh, polar coordinate systems, so they vary as a function of position. So if your position varies as a function of time, then your unit vector can have a, be a function of time. We don't have that. So we can just look at the coefficients and go with that. Uh, one of the nice things I see, I see that um, this is constant, so the time derivative will be zero. So here, I take the time derivative, I get, uh, so two comes down, so it's gonna be a t x z. Uh, here, um, so t becomes just one, so it'll be 
minus 3.5 t hat. Uh, let me put in the answers here. A t 0 minus 3.5. Okay, let me do the next one more quickly. So acceleration is just another step of the exact same thing, which means I can just take the derivatives of each component one by one. Derivative of this, I get eight. Derivative of zero or any constant is still zero. This is a constant, so this is gonna be zero. So at time equals zero, velocity and acceleration, uh, velocity, oh, uh, that's a zero. And, oh, is there uh, x at, okay. So it should be then minus 3.5. Yeah, I guess question is giving away it's going to be in only one direction. Acceleration will be in the x direction. Eight. So it, I guess it's somewhat complicated emotion. Um, but that's what the mathematical expressions say. And that's the sense in which this is an easy question, as in you have a mathematical expression, you go through some math, and you enter some math answers. <laughs> and at no point you really had to think about the physical picture of the position of a particle. And um, those are what I would call easy physics questions. <laughs> and and uh, on Monday's virtual class session, we will uh, spend more time on more difficult questions that deal with more words, where you first have to come up with the equations to solve for in the first place.